A lot of my lawns are now slowing down. Uh, they're going dormant for the winter time. I'm still mowing a fair bit of grass, but this is the thing I've been doing the most of for probably the last three weeks now, and it is leaf blowing, leaf clearance, tidying all the leaves away. This time of year, I do tend to call in a little bit of extra help, and that is extra help in the shape of a backpack blower. And so, yeah, this is what I will... Uh, I borrowed this one for the last couple of years. It's not mine. I might try and make it mine by the end of the leaf season. I might offer um, the guy I borrow it off of, um, you know, give him a, give him some money for it if you see if he'll sell it to me. But yeah, I call. I like to um, get the backpack blower in this time of year just because it is a lot more powerful than my handheld blower, and because I'm doing leaves literally every day. This tennis court is one of my weekly places I come to and every week, no matter what, I do come straight to the tennis court and give it a, a good tidy up, give it a good blow off with the with the blowers. Um, I find if I leave it at all, even one week, uh, the, the weeds do tend to build up on it and it does tend to get mucky. So the customers have asked if at least for the first half an hour of the visit I do come down here and, and clear all the leaves off of it. Uh, this time of year is essential, you know, I have to make it a priority and uh, yeah, actually spend more than half an hour here uh, tidying all the leaves away. When I get to this job, the first thing I try and find out is which way the wind is blowing. I'm normally fairly lucky which it will just blow in one direction you can just stand at one side of the court like I'm doing now and blow them all the way to what the other side. There have been occasions though when uh, the wind just doesn't help you and it just goes around in a big circle or you get them all the way to one side and the wind will decide to uh, change direction and start making a right mess. Most of the time though on this job I'm fairly lucky that the, um, the leaves actually go through the chain link fence Unfortunately now though the leaves that are falling out of the tree behind me they're just a bit too big to get through the chain link fence so what I'm doing is just blowing them all to one side and then I'll get my bag and rake and bag them all up and I haven't got too far to go to the compost pile. Something that is very helpful this time of year is to have customers that understand how the game is played a little bit. Um, no sooner have I tidied all of these leaves away from the tennis court here, within about 5 or 10 minutes leaves have started to fall already. Um, the worst thing for me would be is to um, clear all these leaves off the tennis court on one day and then maybe get a phone call from the customers the next day to uh, say that I hadn't cleared them or there are still leaves on the tennis court. Uh, you really need people to understand that while the leaves are still falling, you are going to end up getting some left behind. You know, I can't be there every single day to, to tidy up the leaves. Uh, some of the properties I look after are absolutely uh, surrounded by trees. You can see here in the background, everywhere you look is a tree which is dropping its leaves at the minute. So yeah, it definitely helps having some customers that just understand that you will get round to getting rid of all the leaves just at the minute they are just coming down far too quick, far too numerous. Uh, I will sometimes look at it as if fighting a fire. You're basically fighting a fire against these leaves all the way up to Christmas, you know, because by Christmas hopefully they're all down and then you can tidy them all away and they'll all be gone. You sort of really need a customer to understand that you will get round to tidying them all up. It's just um, because I'm coming in for three hours here or there I just don't have physically the time to uh, pack them all away for them. I 
I'm grateful for having the backpack blower this time of year, but I still really haven't justified myself to buy one of the brand new ones out there at the minute. Uh, this one is very old, I think the date on it is 2006, um, so yeah, makes it over 10 years old. But even then, this time of year, I'm still really only using it three days out of the out of the five days of work. Um, the Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't need this. This isn't isn't sort of needed. The gardens I do are very small on on those days, so the the little handheld is um, is more than enough for me. Um, so yeah, this one has come in handy, and I suppose if this one ever did go pop, then I would have to look into buying myself one. But as I say, I really only use it from October to Christmas. That would be it, you know. Um, so I can't really justify buying an absolute top of the range brand new one. Uh, as I say, though, this one does come in handy, and I probably will be making an offer for it if uh, if the guy's interested to uh, to sell it me. Definitely comes in handy this time of year. Now I've got all the leaves in the corner where I want them, I'm going to get the uh, my bag over and bag them all up. Throughout the spring and the summer it's a lot easier to do this job because uh, the leaves are all very very small, most of them, and they will just fly straight through the fence. Uh, there's a big field the other side of this fence and I do strim underneath it purposely so that I can fire the leaves mostly out through the field so they don't cause anybody any hassle, but on this occasion the bag and uh, rake were needed. As you can see here though my bag, this is probably three years old this bag I've had now and I've been ever so pleased with it and I've really really loved it. it always comes in handy you know it stands up nice and tall nice and strong but unfortunately um, it's definitely uh, getting to the end of its days with me I say three years old bottoms coming out of it and I probably will have to get myself something different in the future. Some videos I have coming up in the future, a couple of them are going to be a little different from what I'm used to doing. I have been lucky enough to be sent some tools by Toro and they would like me to review the tools. So I'm going to do a couple of video uh, reviews uh, on these tools I've been given. I've been using them now for a week. I have a, a battery power, they're all battery powered tools and there's a strimmer, there is a blower and also a uh, electric vacuum uh, which is also for use in the gardens so I'm going to review those tools for you in the next few videos uh, the tools themselves are domestic tools but I'm pretty sure that some of the pro guys out there will be quite interested in uh, what I have to say about them anyway keep your eye out for those uh, take care be good and I'll see you soon